Hey, do to do that. It's Mr. Theris here. Welcome back to another Doctor Who review. I'm here again with my girlfriend, Stacy. Hello. Um, and we are currently going to be reviewing episode six. I think so. We're wrong with that. Episode six, <laughs> um, called "The Demons Are of Punjab." I hope I've said that correctly. Ah. Um, if you've uh, watched these videos before, you kind of know how we go through these. Um, I give you a plot synopsis, try not to ramble on too much about it. Then I'll ask Stacey how she felt about the episode. I then give you my opinion, and then we talk about any other things that kind of like leaped out at us. Um, how we think the characters are getting along. Maybe if we have a favourite character, depending on how kind of the video goes. These aren't scripted at all. They're really not. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you a plot synopsis and then afterwards we'll ask days how she felt by the episode. Um, so this episode has, I want to say, a simple plot line, but it's not in a way of, oh, okay, it's just this, 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 episode over. It's simple, but it is very well executed. Um, I don't want to give my opinion straight away, but um, the episode starts off with um, Yaz. Yeah. I always forget the characters' names. If you watch these videos, you know I'm really bad with them. Um, Yaz, who is the young female assistant. I say young female, like there's, there's three assistants, as you guys know. Um, and Yaz is having some, she's celebrating her birthday, her grandma's birthday, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, her grandma's birthday. Um, and her grandma gives each of the family members who are there, the, um, well, gives the, the two daughters, her granddaughters, um, a gift. She gives one of them, what looks to be like a letter with a flower in it. You don't get any explanation about that. But she gives Yaz a broken watch. And Yaz says, ooh, uh, it's broken. Uh, and the dad's like, I can fix it. And the grandma's like, no, 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 no. Never fix it, never fix it. And we then flash. Uh, no, 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 well, actually, um, Yaz asks her grandma about her granddad. And she just talks about some weird stuff and it makes Yaz feel like she wants to meet her granddad. And this is a show about time travel, so you can kind of make a fair assumption that what does Yaz do? She goes to the doctor and, and goes like, uh, can we just like pop back in time and uh, go, go visit go, go visit my, grand, my granddad? And the doctor's like, no, like dealing with time travel, especially your personal history, very messy. And Yaz is like, well, what good is having a mate of a time travel who can time travel if you won't? And I just thought that was quite funny. If you ain't got a mate who's a time traveller, it was funny. I'd need stitches for a bit, actually. Um, so the doctor decides, oh, why not? Screw time travel, let's just do it! So they travel back to um, the day of the marriage of the grandma and granddad. Um, Yaz is confused, though, because none of it is matching up with what her grandma has told her in the past. Um, we also get a hint of these weird, spiky armoured beings in the distance um, and then the episode plays along uh, everyone's trying to is confused including the doctor like why isn't this matching up with what Yaz's grandma said um, we then get a, we meet a holy man who gets killed and they see these two um, aliens hanging over him and some weird goopy gas stuff comes off the body and like okay so we've got some aliens killing people uh, the episode plays out the guy who is Yaz's granddad uh, or might be Yaz's granddad, um, talks about how when he was in, uh, when he was serving during the First World War, very topical this time of year, um, that uh, he saw them uh, lure, uh, looming over his brother's body and it's like, okay, so holy man who was going to marry him, his older brother who fought in the war with him, and you can see this, the aliens have got a connection um, with this the granddad. Um, the doctor then finds out through some investigating in the alien ship that these are some super assassins who have uh, altered their own biology to make themselves these super assassins. Um, and she decides, okay, well this needs to stop. The uh, doctor does a plan, um, eventually uh, gets kidnapped by the aliens though because she steals this um, vial of this of the purple stuff that was on the dead holy man. Um, but the aliens then explain, look, we're not assassins anymore. Our people going about the cosmos and um, killing people didn't prepare their own planet and our home planet was destroyed along with most of our race. 
so we decide to stop being assassins and become watchers. Basically like priests who um, watch over dead, but specifically dead people who were never mourned. And they basically travel all of time and space, um, basically mourning the unmourned of the dead. It's kind of cool. Um, so the doctor's like, okay, then why are you here? And yeah, it's Yaz's granddad who's going to die soon. And the doctor's like, oh, okay. She explains this to Yaz and crew and says, look, to not screw with time, we have to let this play out. Um, so they have a lovely marriage. Um, during this time, there's a subplot of this is based during the time when, I want to get this right, India is being divided. You know history better than I do. History, uh, India's being divided into different segments and some of it's being classed as Pakistan? Yeah. I am generally questioning this because I am awful at anything history. It's hilarious, I watch a time travel show and I go, oh, I just learnt something new. Because I genuinely do. Um, yeah, and the brother of the granddad is um, kind of decided that, yeah, he doesn't like the fact that uh, India is um, occupied by loads of different religious faiths and thinks no, only Indians should be allowed to be allowed to stay in this part of the country uh, and rallies up a group of um, pro-Indian anti-Muslim Muslim? Yeah. yeah, Muslim people Because his family was because, Hindu Yeah, because his family is Hindu and, he, and the uh, grandma is uh, Muslim so they go there and we find out that's what's going to cause Yaz's granddad's death but they can't prevent it and uh, the rest of the episode plays out the doctor and co stand off in the distance while they see the granddad is going to confront these people we know he's going to die um, but then the aliens turn up and they go we will take it from here and Doctor Who and everyone they have to go off and there's this lovely scene where the guy who's pointing the gun at the granddad goes to shoot, but because it's TV, it's kids TV, family TV, so they censor the, uh, the gun being pulled with the sun. It's a very beautiful, arty scene. Um, and then we get flashback to the present, where Yaz is talking to her grandma and she's like, um, I love you, Gran. And she's like, I love you too. Do you want to hear about my past? No, not right now. Um, you can tell me at later and it's beautiful and it's lovely and it's oh, touching but Stacey's probably going to tell me some stuff that I forgot about I can see that she's itching to tell me so Stacey explain to them the things I probably missed out and also how you felt about this episode I really enjoyed this episode I actually didn't know I, didn't, I knew nothing about this uh, period of history in India it's a partition of India in 1947 uh, just after the second world war so I found oh, it's it second. Weird. Yes, it's a second. Oh, see, one. see, <laughs> lack of history knowledge completely. But I thought you did make a very valid point: the fact that it was very appropriately done on Remembrance Sunday. Yeah. And there were poppies in the episode itself, and uh, the uh, what uh, the alien priests were doing, remembering the unacknowledged dead, was very symbolic. <laughs> There were poppies in this? Yes, there was a scene where they were showing uh, a field that had flowers and they did focus a little bit on some red poppies. Oh, I, I didn't notice that at all. I just, I just wanted aliens. That, that's what I do. I want to talk to them. I like aliens. Anyway, continue. Okay. I, uh, when you first encounter the aliens, uh, well, that are seen as the threat of the episode, and you see them as they are being perceived as demons, they do actually seem quite intimidating how they scare the doctor going into her head with some kind of telepathy. Yeah, they were telepathic, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. and it was just like, ooh, this is interesting. And it was almost, it was an assumption uh, of, by the doctor that they were evil because of obviously it scared her because it was invading her uh, mind and she was unsure what they were doing. She did say that they were an ancient uh, way, so they yes, and she knew about their past, but Yes, it was interesting yeah, that even uh, about the alien waste completely changing in the t from the time that uh, the Doctor knew them because she travels all over time. So yeah, that was that was interesting, and I think this 
episode was really good. It was a good episode for uh, Yaz because it was uh, giving her character a chance to develop and uh, made the audience more attached to her. Uh, Ryan did practically nothing this episode, uh, but Graham, he was in the background but uh, being supportive. But it was more the Doctor's and Yaz's episode. So, uh, apart from saying I really enjoyed it, um, what else did I say? Uh, I think uh, I just loved it. Cool. Uh, yes. I, we are in uh, we are we are in complete um, agreement there um, for an episode that had very little alien activity. Like the aliens are in it, but it ain't their story. It ain't their story by a long shot. This is Yaz's family story, and oh, it's it's really interesting that a TV series that I always prefer it when they do alien um, episodes like the Daleks or the Cybermen, like I really love those episodes and they do more mythology behind these aliens and new plots that they've developed. This season, the more human episodes have been so much better. Um, Rosa, which I felt was very much Ryan and the Doctor's episode, um, with Graham helping Ryan out, um, was fantastic. And this was kind of like, this was uh, Yaz's version of the Rosa episode where her fam, she had, she understood because the Rosa one, you understood how Ryan felt about himself and and um, how he is perceived by people of like other uh, ethnic backgrounds and stuff. Where this, it would because obviously Yaz doesn't, she doesn't have those issues herself. It's more about her culture and her family. So the episode was very much heavily towards that, and it helped us understand Yaz a bit more. Again, the doctors in it. A bit more than um, the Rosa one. He, she did do a bit more this time, but yeah, I do feel that it's uh, it, Graham is kind of there with the, to the for the two younger people to be like, okay, guys, do you need a bit of moral support? I'm here to make sure that you're okay. The Doctor go does the alien stuff, so the sci-fi geeks are happy, and um, Yaz or Ryan will do a very human storyline. That Graham will help out um, just because he wants to be the adult that helps out. Uh, but I'm not knocking this episode at all. I love this episode. Um, I, I joked at the beginning because when they were just doing, Yaz was talking to her grandma and I was like, Ugh, I don't want this. I just want aliens. I actually said it again, didn't I? It's just like, I want aliens. Please just give me aliens. And then I got into the episode and I was just like, oh, no, I don't, I don't really care. Did I'm you really liking this. There were aliens. Yes, there were aliens. There were alien priests. Yeah, I know, I know. There used to be warriors. But as far as the plot goes, it was very much more about Yaz discovering her family and how grandparents don't always tell the truth when they're telling you stories about their history. We don't even actually know if that is her, her granddad. It never says that. It never no, stated. It, it, no, Yaz actually did specifically say, that is not my granddad. I've seen my granddad in photos. He looks completely different. Uh, and also, I don't think they had time for... Yes, yeah, what I'm saying though is that Grandma classes that as the granddad, but by surely you would think in that situation that if, um, like she did marry someone else or at least have a kid with someone else and had photos of this other man, why not call that other man granddad? Well, the thing is, she didn't. She might not have had photos of her first husband and had photos of her second husband who she had a child with, but because she didn't want to talk about her first husband, she just like. Oh yes, your granddad gave me this because of the fact she was married. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what it is, isn't it? Is is she kind of just merges the two people in a way mm. together and just kind of goes, yeah, all this stuff and this lovely emotional stuff that was from your actual granddad, not this lovely guy that I initially was in love with. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, how do you feel about? Because I want to keep this going since I started in the first episode. Um, the Doctor's development. How do you feel about it? Since oh, I'm. To hear. I think it was a good episode and um, she is, I love her personality, she's joking and she, she's got a thing for biscuits now and she is very northern, um, <laughs> which I like and uh, the fact that uh, her assistants are mates. And oh that yeah, I'm, I, I know I said it in my initial plot uh, review but that line was just great and Yaz was just like, 
What's the point in having a mate who's a time traveller if you can't time travel? It's like, ah, the doctor, mate. The Doctor also says, oh, the universe can't exist without Yasmin. Yeah, that would be so cool. cool. She's just so joking about time, about, about like, reality. It's just like, no, what would history be like without Yaz? It's like, all right then, yeah, okay, cool. I also thought I really liked uh, the doctor, the fact that the doctor was the one that uh, did their wedding. I thought that was beautiful. Yeah. And also the doctor's comment when uh, she was getting uh, her hand painted and she was like, oh, I never did I this never, when I was a man. I never did this when I was a man. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> And the is like, oh yeah, yeah, joking about empowering it. It's like, yeah, I always joke about about gender and regeneration. Okay. It's wicked though. Um, so yeah, overall, bloody loved it. Rating? Out of ten? Uh, what did we say? We say I said Rosa was like a solid eight or nine. Mm. I would say this isn't quite as good as Rosa. Um, it's 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 almost there. It's probably one of the better episodes of the season. Uh, I would say 7.5. It didn't quite give me the feels of Rosa, but compared to the previous episode with the the the, the gremlin alien, way better. 7.5 out of 10. I really love this. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm I'm thinking eight, maybe 8.5 because I really enjoyed this. But so I would definitely say eight. But I think it is equal to Rosa in my eyes. And also, I, I learned about a period of history I'm not, uh, and I'm going to research it, so... She will. It's not just saying that. I will let you go play my game later, and she'll just be like... Do a bit of research, and be like, oh, oh, mm. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like if you have. Uh, leave a comment. Tell us what you felt with this episode. Um, which of the episodes so far out of the six? I'm, I'm hoping it's six and I not five. I think it is six. I feel we've gone six episodes now. I think I remember saying it was five last time. Okay, I'm trusting you. If they tell us it's episode five, it's your fault, not mine. Um, out of the six episodes so far, which has been your favorite? Um, and also guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Um, and if you've already subscribed, bring a friend along and have them subscribe too. Until next video guys, I will see you later. And so is Stacey. Bye! Bye.